We begin today's program with Sarah Pratula joining us in studio. She is the director of Community Crew, and Community Crew started in 2013 out of Edith Cavell School in West St. Catharines. And it's now expanded to include a number of schools across the region. Sarah, welcome to the program. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having us. So you, can you tell us about the fundraising gala? This is a big event for you each and every year, and obviously it can't be done the way it's usually done. No, so our fundraising gala is called Night of Miracles, and we host it every year. It's really to bring awareness, to raise funds for community crew. So last year, about 10 days before the gala, we had to postpone, obviously due to COVID. So we waited until this year, hoping that we might be able to have it again. But what we're gonna do is, um, host the event online and we're doing it through a really neat unique platform where it looks like you're walking into a gala instead of a dinner we're going to be sending experience boxes to the guests home so they'll have a little package that they can open with wine and treats and chocolate and just a whole bunch of fun things still raising awareness still raising funds just online this year do you still have a silent auction? We do, we do. Technology is pretty great. So we can have a silent auction. We can have a raffle online. People can watch the show. We're gonna film everything in advance. So it's gonna be great. When you look at the total budget to run Community Cruise Program, how much gets raised on that fundraising night? We usually raise about 15% of our operating revenue that evening. So it's a big event for us. It's one of our signature events and we are really excited to host it this year. 24 schools and you're looking at about 1200 children fed each week mm -hmm. normally now that number has changed during the pandemic a little bit it does so what happens during the pandemic when the kids go to virtual learning is we see a drop in the numbers so we feed about 600 kids on the road and it could be for a variety of reasons maybe mom or dad don't know where to sign up maybe they just don't have access to be able to sign up or maybe they are just not able to for a specific reason. So we see a lot of kids drop off, go MIA, and we find that that's very common. The schools tell us that they see students go MIA during a virtual learning lockdown. And so for us, we would prefer the schools to be open because we know that school is a safe spot for some of those kids and that they're getting two meals there. They're getting you know, some of the good stuff that they don't necessarily get at home. A lot of the kids find out about the program through their teachers, through their principals. They do. And get sort of counseled into the program that way. Their parents often don't know about it at all until that moment. They do. And our teachers and principals that we work with are so great. So they actually help communicate to the parents and say, hey, this program's still offering lunches. You're welcome to sign up. Here's the link. And then we even have the option, maybe a parent doesn't know about it, but their neighbor sees it. Their neighbor can sign them up and we'll still deliver lunches to those kids. Looking at your website, you normally have volunteers. Volunteer numbers yeah. are down. Uh, I think you mentioned that volunteers are still able to deliver the meals to the homes right now. What is a difference maker though? Because that's an interesting term. Yes, so a difference maker is a series of events that people can host on their own in a way that's meaningful for them. So we have a number of different difference makers that take place throughout the year. So for example, a yoga teacher can come to us and say, hey, I'd love to teach an outdoor yoga. I'm charging $15 per class and all proceeds go back to community crew. That's really special for her. And then that's a way that she can give back. We've had people, um, you know, collect snacks for their kids' birthdays. We've had people make bracelets and donate the proceeds back. So it's an event that people can host in a way that's really meaningful for them. You have an ongoing difference maker right now, a local business person. We do, we do. We're partnering with a company called Naked Active Skincare. And what they're doing is they have locations in the US and in Canada, and currently they're opening up a shop in the UK. So what they're doing is they're donating a portion of the proceeds from the Canadian sales to Community Crew throughout 2021. I understand that you will soon be moving where you pack these lunches. Have you found a new building and what exactly are you looking for if you haven't? We have not found a new building yet, but we are looking for somewhere with a kitchen space, a space where we can prep the lunches as we continue to open up, which hopefully will be in the next couple months. We want to be able to serve even more kids. So we're planning for a really exciting September, serving more kids in more schools more days per week and so we are looking for a spot that's you know kitchen prep area 
an office or two for our team just to, when we have to do the admin work and that fun stuff. Last summer, you had uh, one of those Difference Maker events, uh, Mike Strange and yeah. uh, Victor Peterangelo, yeah. both doing a run and stopping at some of those schools. Yes. How was that, and do you have anything else like that lined up for this summer? Oh, gosh. They actually approached us and said, hey, we'd love to do this event for the 100th day of lockdown. We want to raise awareness and funds. And it was such a fun event. Maybe not so fun for them, because they both ran 50K. It was 50K. hot, hot day. <laughs> it was hot. But it raised so much awareness and again it was a way that was meaningful for them the event that we have that's not the same but would be similar would be break the cycle so friend and former board member grant MacArthur, he is riding 10,000 kilometers this year to raise funds and awareness for community crew he's raised sorry he has cycled about 3,000 kilometers already so he does it virtually so he can get on his bike and track his progress on one of his cycling apps or he can actually ride outside and as the weather continues to get nicer and nicer and things start to open up um, he will encourage people to go and ride with him have you planned to do that a few days i plan to do it a few days <laughs> i'm more of a 20 kilometer 25 kilometer per day he's more of like a 50 to 100 kilometer per day type of rider Let's get back to the gala, yeah. the date, and what's actually scheduled for this. You have an MC, you have some musical uh, guests as well. We do, so it's Thursday, May 6th, and it's gonna start at 6.30, that'll be the pre-show. The actual gala will start at seven o'clock and it'll run about 75 minutes. Our MC for the evening is David Green, and our musical stylings are from Mel Monaco. And Both tickets, local talent. how much are the tickets and so, how much are the experience yeah. boxes? Um, tickets are $30 if you just want to watch the gala and those proceeds will go right back to community crew. For the experience box, it's $125, includes wine, chocolates, treats, and those will be dropped off and it also includes the link to the gala so you can watch. Sarah, thanks so much for joining us today and good luck with the gala. Thank you, Mike.